hello guys welcome to my channel today we will be looking at how we can use auto reset event and manual reset event for thread synchronization so you remember if we have to communicate between two threads if we want to uh, tell one one thread that he is now finished he is ready and another thread wants to wait on for one thread how we how we can do it there are certain ways they, they, this is called synchronization of threads one way is to use we can just use boolean flags and the thread which wants to wait can actually keep on polling on that boolean that means he will be using cpu and wasting lot of time and resources another way is to use uh, waiting construct like uh, events and today we will look at auto reset event and manual reset event so an auto reset event an auto reset event is an signal which gets reset automatically that's why its name is auto reset event so it resets itself automatically you don't have to call the reset method manually whenever a thread gets set whenever the event is set it gets reset automatically that means let's say if you have a auto reset event and three threads are waiting on this auto reset event so the the first one which will be unblocked or will get the signal will also reset that event and that means only one thread can be unblocked by auto reset event while the manual reset event is just opposite uh, that when you set a manual reset event all the threads which are waiting on that event will be unblocked and the event will remain in the set state it will not get reset automatically you can think of about auto reset event as an analogy like it um, uh, like toll booth you have toll booths you arrive with your car on your toll booth on toll booth then you pay the toll tax and then that barrier gets opened you pass your car and then it gets closed automatically that's kind of auto reset event and manual reset event is like you are opening a gate of a big hall where everyone is allowed and the gate is opened until you manually close it so let's look at the examples suppose i have now five threads and then i will be creating threads with another method now we can create those threads like first thread equals to new thread and we can pass some parameter it can be print hello like this and then a start then we can pass it pass something i dot to string and then in print hello we'll take object argument and here we can just print some information we can print the thread id thread dot current thread dot manage thread id and uh, we can print the name arg and we can say entered enter control c control v Um, no, not this argument. We don't need to do this. Uh, 
because this is here we will be having our event auto reset event alt as auto reset event and then we say auto reset event dot wait one like this and we don't have to do this what we need we need an auto reset event we can create that auto reset event with initial state false so now we are creating five threads starting them with passing auto reset event main thread is waiting main thread is joining all these threads and when we come here in our print method then we will see that everyone will come here wait for that and only one will get the signal the event will be reset automatically so other four will actually keep on waiting here this it will be only one thread which will be able to exit and that's i think we are good to go let's go entered 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 yeah, we are not setting it that's no it was not good we can remove this we don't need let's see somewhere here and this is the thread actually this is a scenario where we have background threads and they are waiting for signal and this is the thread who will give the signal who can say okay one of you can come in wait one no sorry we have to do set S setting the signal entered th three entered four entered five entered six entered three exit seven entered so you see only one one could escape the all others are just waiting and if we had a manual reset event manual reset event will be op will remain open if we just change this to manual set event then everyone all these threads will get unblocked when we are when we set this event see three entered four entered five entered six entered five exit four exit three exit six exit seven entered seven exit without a problem this is actually the basic difference and basic use so whenever you have a situation where you have one thread who will give the signal and there are many threads waiting for one signal and all wants to unblock then we should use manual reset event and we whenever we have situation where we just want to unblock one thread at a time then we can use auto reset event because we don't have to reset it manually when we have this wait one actually the wait one it actually also takes a time out you can say how long we want to wait until we get the signal let's say i say 5 seconds what will then happen actually that all the threads will wait for 5 second a check 
have you got any signal if they don't get signal they will just time out and go further they just don't care about the signal so we will see imme immediately when we call set and we have to change it to auto actually auto reset event and then all the threads will come here start waiting the first one will get the signal will go immediately but other four will be waiting for 5 seconds after 5 seconds they will time out and go further in our previous example when we were not using then we, they were waiting infinite let's see the third one exit then we 1 2 3 4 5 after 5 second they all just timed out that's another thing we can do with these events and that's the same for the for the manual reset event if nobody sets it it's also all five of these threads will enter and wait 5 seconds 2 3 4 five and then they will proceed um let's see what else we have set wait one reset close blah blah the most important are set you can call reset and you know the you got the idea of reset equals dispose close yeah i think that's 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 it about auto reset and manual reset events and these are just point to remember are auto reset events resets automatically and it can unblock only one thread at time manual reset event remains open remains in set state all the time until you manually call reset and manual reset event will unblock any number of threads all the threads who are waiting on that event and these auto reset event and manual reset events are synchronization constructs or the methods so that you can synchronize your various threads one thread is waiting for another many are waiting for one and so on and so forth and that's how we can do it if there was no auto reset event and let's say uh if there was there was no events then we could have done it like we had a private static bool go for example and then here we can just run a loop while not go keep on waiting you can just thread dot sleep for 100 milliseconds for example but in this in this method what we are doing we are running this all the time we are using cpu the threads got gets blocked gets removed from the running thread list of thread scheduler and then after 100 milliseconds it will be scheduled again will again check it's a, it's a polling and then let's see if our main thread just waits for thread dot sleep waits for 2 seconds and then can set this boolean to true enter 2 seconds and then like this so this is kind of the automatic way of setting a boolean flag actually there there has to be a boolean flag these auto reset events and manual reset events are behind the scene are smart booleans actually yes so that was it for auto reset event and manual reset event i hope you learned something and you like the video if you have any question and or any suggestion please write into the comment section 
and be happy be safe and good